why the intros are so hard for me. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. So today we are going to be doing a Dollar Tree haul. It's been a while since I've done a Dollar Tree haul. I think the last one I did was a 99 cent haul. I've been seeing such cute stuff on YouTube that people are finding at Dollar Tree, so I wanted to go check it out. So Before I get into anything, I need your guys' help. I'm out of ideas right now for my DIYs. What do you guys want to see? Two of my last DIYs, I made really cute stuff out of poster board. So I'm trying to think of something else that I could make out of poster board and I'm just like, I'm stuck. Like, I'm out of ideas. I don't want to do any Easter DIYs. I just, I need some inspiration. So help, please. All right, you guys, let's get into this haul. The first two things I have, these do not fit in bags. So I'm just going to show you what they are. So this is a plant hanger and it is just one of those things that kind of put in the ground and I bought a cute little flag that is going to go on here so I'm just going to put this somewhere in the front yard and then hang the little flag on here. But yeah Dollar Tree has some really cute garden stuff right now. Then I just picked up two more things of poster board because like I said I've been obsessed with my poster board DIYs so I figured if I bought the poster board maybe the inspiration would come. Also I am going to try my hardest in this video to not say cute a million times because I noticed in my last haul video, I said cute probably at least 50 times. I tried to edit most of the cutes out because they get freaking annoying. So I apologize for that. So I'm gonna work on that. Oh, yeah. So I went to a different Dollar Tree than I normally go to. Uh, the ones near me, I feel like don't have the best stuff. Like the one right by me is really tiny. So this one I went to had a huge section of acrylic and like little organization things and I was like okay I need some of those so I just got two of these little essential essentials organizers um, I think I'm gonna put these in maybe my bathroom drawers I haven't decided yet either bathroom or kitchen drawers but I need to do some organizing because it's a hot mess and then I just got two of these they're like the three little you know three little compartments and for a buck I mean that's such a good price for these Um, my mom actually saw these as we were leaving I wasn't planning on getting these but when she pointed them out I was like you know what yes I need those so they're just glitter Easter eggs I have to be quiet because the Easter Bunny is gonna bring these my kids are upstairs so yeah I picked these up I need to hide these before they see them but I thought these were adorable here's one of them I don't know where the other ones are but it's a solar steak light and it's a flamingo and I just thought this was adorable see now I'm gonna keep saying adorable I can't think of anything besides cute and adorable to say so yeah they had the flamingos and pineapples and I ended up getting three of these I'm gonna put them somewhere maybe like on our front sidewalk possibly Yeah, I got two more of these little tumbling tower games these are awesome I love doing DIYs with these I don't know if you guys saw my centerpiece that I made with these uh, but I made like a little tray that I put mason jars in and I painted it white and that turned out really cool. Uh, so I got two more of these. Tupperware. We're going to a party on Saturday or Sunday and I'm going to make pasta salad. So I always like to take it in the Tupperware and I don't care if I get this back or not because it was a dollar. If I do get it back, great because they are really nice. But if I don't, I won't be upset. Oh yeah. So here's the other one that I got. And then oh, I picked these heart picks up. My girls love these. So I purchased these last summer when we went on our, when we went on our RV trip. I had these on the RV. I thought that they, they would be cute like for their snacks or whatnot. And we just ran out recently, but they love eating their snacks with these. So I'll either put fruit on them or I'll just like, they can eat their dinner with them. Like if they're eating like hot dog pieces or something like that, they just like to stick to food with these and eat it, it makes it more fun. Than using utensils, so I had to get some more of those. This is a facial brush. I don't know. It says revitalizing, gently exfoliates, massages, and cleans your skin. So it looks, I mean, it even has like a little cap on it. I thought that would be neat for the shower. So, like when you're washing your face, you can just kind of, I guess it's kind of like a Clarisonic, but only not battery operated, perhaps. So I don't know, I thought that would be cool to exfoliate and whatnot. So for a buck, I wanted to try it. And this, they had some of the neatest little canvases and like little art thingies there. 
this one, you guys. Oh my gosh. I don't even need to do anything with this. Look how stinking cute that is. Oh, adorable. So like it says welcome and it looks like it has like that burlap on it, but it's just part of the canvas. So you see, it's just a regular canvas, but I don't need to do anything with this because it already has the little windmill on it. I just love that. I don't have any clue where I'm gonna put it yet, but I'll find a spot. And then I got this one. This one says powder room and I'm so, I think by the time you guys see this video, my bathroom renovation video should already be up. Uh, but I'm wanting to build some little shelves back behind the toilet, or not the toilet, back behind the bathtub. And I want to just put some cute little farmhouse decorations on it. So I'm thinking this is going to go up there as soon as I build those shelves. So this one I bought, it says dream big. And I don't know that, I don't know, for some reason I got an idea. Look at the frame. So, there we go. So see the frame? It just kind of looks like rustic. So I'm thinking I'm going to try to make some kind of DIY with this. Possibly painting this. Or I don't know what I'm going to do. But I just, I bought it pretty much for the frame. I thought it looked really cute. And it's got like a little hanger on the back if you guys can see that. So I don't know. I have some ideas in mind that I want to do something with that. So we'll see. Just some white washable kids paint because... I don't know if this will work like I I don't have white in my little craft paint collection and I don't really know that washable kids paint is going to even work like painting with wood or anything but I thought I would just give it a shot and if it doesn't work for me the kids can paint with it or do something with it but, so here are the other two little flamingos like I said I got three of them and I'm curious to see how they work uh yeah they have a little solar light so we'll see I picked up these poster stickers they're peel and stick letters and there's 56 characters so yeah it's got all the letters and then it's got like question marks exclamation point whatnot here is the little garden flag i found and it says welcome on it and it's got a hummingbird thought that would be really cute out front we have so many hummingbirds out back right now the other night my daughter and i sat out there and we saw six of them at our feeder it was so cool and they're really cool, like they don't fly away. Like when they see us, they kind of just hover over there and they're not afraid of us, which is crazy. Um, but yeah, it's so cool at night, like around six o'clock, we'll go out there and watch them. And they just like, they go from the tree to the feeder to like the our neighbor's tree and it's just fun to watch them. And then, oh, I picked up a ruler finally. If you guys have been watching my DIYs, you see me using like either a tape measure or I think I was using like this itty bitty little ruler. So I finally got a bigger ruler. So hopefully I can do some more DIYs with this. Okay, uh, the next thing I got, oh yeah, I got these cute little clothes pins. Aren't these just adorbs? Well, I have no idea what I'm gonna do with them, but the wheels are turning and I've got some ideas. So we'll see. And then I just picked up some of this Velcro because why not? You can always use Velcro for anything, right? Last but not least are so cute these are fairy door wind chimes look at how cute those are there we go isn't that so cute so it comes with oh my gosh did it come with all that stuff so let's see came with the fairy door piece the chimes a wooden bead a paintbrush white strings acrylic paint the weight and the chime holder for a buck you hear my kids upstairs that is so cute. So I thought the girls would just love making these and maybe we could hang them outside, out back maybe. So, all right, you guys, that does it for this Dollar Tree haul. I'm excited to like dig in and like start doing some more DIYs. I've got some ideas in my head, but if you guys can help me out with any ideas, I would love to hear what you guys want to see and what your favorite DIYs are. If you guys are new to my channel, I would love it if you would stick around and hit that red subscribe button and make sure you hit the notification bell so then you'll know anytime I upload a new video and we'll see you guys all next time. Bye.